Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how you can create a new profile in Visual Studio Code. Creating a new profile in Visual Studio Code is optional. Profiles can help, I mean profiles allow you to customize and save different configurations such as settings, extensions and uh, user interface layouts. So I have two sections here, it's creating a profile and managing a profile. If you want to access the profiles, the existing profiles, you can go to uh, the file preferences and profiles. So we can go to file preferences and profiles or profile in this case. So right now I'm using the default one. You can also alternatively click on the manage, manage gear icon, which is this one. Yeah, you can, you will access the same menu. So to create a new profile, uh, you just have to, in the Profiles menu, just uh, select Profile or select Create Profile. So go to this uh, Settings icon here, Profile, and then, and then select Profile, New Profile. So I can um, specify the name. So let's say Item Profile, and I can just, I can create it or copy from um, right now, I'm going to just say none, and this is the icon, choose what to configure in your profile. So I will just leave it as is, settings, keyboard, shortcuts, snippets, tasks, extensions. These are the things that you can configure in your profile. So I will go ahead and click on create. Okay, so now we see that the profile has been created by looking at this settings icon here. Uh, there is a characters py so right now i'm using a i mean i'm using the profile that uh, i just created so it says here choose to create and choose to create a profile from the current settings or start with an empty profile so i did specify the name of the profile and these are the things that you can customize in your profile. So setting extensions, key binding snippets. Let me go to extension. So right now, no extension is installed. So let's say I will install Python, the Python extension. It's, it's now installing and now it's been installed. Okay, so let's proceed with managing a profile. To switch between profiles, you just have to go to the same. I mean, I can do it by clicking here, profiles, and you can switch between profiles here. You can also go into the command palette. So control shift P and then type profile select. Let me do that again here. I can also switch between profiles by doing that command. Or it says here, alternatively, select a profile from the list in the Profiles menu. So here, yeah, you can, we can also switch between profiles here. So there's, there's a few or a couple of options that you can uh, switch profiles. And next step is to access the profile and select Edit. So let's do that. So uh, access the profile and uh, edit profile. So these are, like I mentioned before, these are the things that you can uh, edit or customize, okay? And delete the profile. Uh, just go to the same option or menu, and this is the this is where you can see the delete uh, profile option. Confirm the deletion to remove the profile from VS Code. Okay, I'm not gonna uh, do that. And last, you can export and say share the profile. So if you want to share your profile with others or use it on different machine, you can export it. So you can do that by going here and export, export profile, export local file. So let's say desktop. So it says this will create a dot code dash profile file that you can export on another machine by selecting import profile, save. Yeah, it's been, uh, exported successfully. Yeah, let me try switching between profiles because I think I didn't do that. Yeah, that's how you um, switch between profiles. 
So now I'm using the default one and I select the custom profile that I created. So that's how you can create a new profile and manage the profile. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.